Hello everybody, it's Ella again, coming at you at 8 frames per second. Um, this is another video, the third one, about LPHK, which is a program that I am making, uh, which allows you to bind macros that are scriptable to any key on the Novation Launchpad. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be playing Doom on the Novation Launchpad, uh, just to show off sort of uh, what it can do. Now, of course, this is not necessarily going to be like something like an MMO, but it is nice because, for example, strafing left and right, you need to like hold alt down. Um, in addition, you know, there are lots of weird key bindings that a modern gamer isn't really used to in Doom, and if you're playing the classic, uh, I'm, as far as I'm aware, you can't like actually change the key binding. So, uh, I, I personally like the fact that I can play Doom one-handed if I want to. I'm a little bit better two-handed over here, but uh, without further ado, let's just let's just get into it. So um, near the end of the video, I'll show you where all the what everything looks like, what all the scripts look like. But let's just go. Let's just go. Again, I apologize for the frame rate. I'm not recording on the best setup here, but. So as you can see, I've got all of the movement sort of mapped. Um, I've got strafe mapped to the left and right keys, sort of laid out in a WASD fashion. Um, I've got rotation mapped to all of these keys and the keys over here, just in case you want to use my other hand. Uh, you'll see I have the ability to, obviously I can navigate menus and stuff. Um, I can change volume if I want to actually, just live. So, uh, I also don't know where all the secrets are. I just know that I've, I've missed some. This is a very old game. I'm sure I could look it up online. But I'm already playing the game. I don't have time to look it up. Oh, come on. I'm so bad at range. Let's just get this guy. I know you're on top of a secret, so. You're on top of the shotgun, which I really want. So, um, I don't know, does that just go down to after a second, I think? Or do I have to leave the room? Does that just go down? Come on, what's going on? No, do I have to open the door over here? Oh! Yeah, I think it's open now. Nope. I, I, I honestly have no clue when that opens. Uh, are there more enemies in here that I need to murder? I'm, I'm really bad at Doom, guys. But here's the thing, like, the aiming and, like, the movement is so much easier. Because I'm just, I'm used to modern FPS games. I say as I shoot the door. <laughs> I'm used to, um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm used to modern FPS games where, like, strafing is the default and rotating is, well, you know, the mouse, right? But also I can change my weapon down here if I want to. Um, so, I don't know. It just makes makes me a little bit better at the game as I shoot the door again. <laughs> That's just the fact that I'm not used to the key binding just about yet. I really should just change that. But it's because I feel like shooting is more important than, like, hitting things, so I made that where I'm default resting the finger. It wasn't, like, the worst. It wasn't good. But it also wasn't the worst. Oh. Alright, there. Oh yeah, also I, uh, I might have that bound to some sound. I won't do it too much, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Fuck you, fuck you. I need some health. Alright. I'm I I swear I'm trying to I'm trying to cuss less. I swear. <laughs> oh, those things? Yes they were. Is that a person? Not anymore. Love the 
shot. Who doesn't just get an immediate, just hard on? Just thinking about that shotgun and do man. Just goddamn it. Like when you get that shotgun, the look on. Oh, how do I? How do I get that again? Oh, I just go up to it. Cool. I swear, doesn't that go down? Because there's like hallways back there. Oh, can I just like hit that? Do I space? No. I don't know how things work, guys. Ooh, that was one a heck of a hit that I got. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm still not gonna do it. Oh, gosh. Well, I got him. God health. Is there any other goodies over here that I missed? I don't know. I'm. I picked up a clip. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. There's this entire area. There's that like basement. I haven't played Doom in forever. Like I mean, I played it a few minutes ago, but I didn't play much of it. Oh God! Every time. Every time that freaks, every time that freaks the shit out of me, go down. Nice. Mm. Oh, well, this is spooky. I mean, the health is not as spooky. The health is nice. Oh, is this the end? Well, I mean, sure is something. What the fuck? <laughs> that was good. Oh, man, I swear I haven't played this forever. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Feeling it. Doom. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Where? What? Where? Oh. Oh, nice. That's right. Exploding barrels. I should, uh, remember that those are a thing. Ow! Okay. Oh, thanks. You killed your own guy. I appreciate that a lot, actually. Yeah, I got the shotgun. Thanks for that. I remember even on frickin', this is like, the Doom that was on my TI-83+, Plus, man. Like, the shotgun just, ugh. Even in that, like, you know, very minimalist version, the shotgun had the same, just significant, amazing, just, you felt so good when you got it. The fucking shotgun, what else do you want in life, man? Especially when, I mean, when there are demons attacking you, really all I would, per personally, all I'd want is either a shotgun or, um, a really good priest, but usually those don't do much anyway in these situations. They just die, like, first when they think that their strength is going to be done. Again. Ooh. Well. Oh god. Hi. Hi. You are wait, no sorry. Who are you again? Who are you? Have I even finished this game before? Man, I don't even know. I was born in 1995. Give me a break. Oh shit. Die already, damn. This isn't the end of the level, right? No, this is just a switch. Is there a guy up here? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a guy up here. Come on. Go up. Can I go down, please? Thank you. Ah. Two for one. Oh my god, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. This is fantastic. Dude, thank you. 
Dude, I love I love this game so much. I don't like that game as much. Dude, okay, you know what? Are you the only one down there? There, take that. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right, there we go. Man, uh, this game kicks ass, dude. This game, I did not appreciate this game nearly as much when I played it as a kid. This game kicks ass. I'm dead. Am I? Is there a way to get out of this? Or am I just dead? I'm just dead. Cool. Well, that was me playing Doom badly on the launch pad. But I mean, hey, like, I'll bet you guys thought I did pretty good considering I was using nothing but a launch pad. So, I mean, uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to just leave this game and I'll show you what the actual macros look like. All right, so here's what the macros look like, guys. These ones are obviously just volume keys and that's like a mute key. Uh, the main ones that I move around with. So um, I have actually added since the last video a few new commands. First of all, there's actually this one, which isn't really a command, it's a header. It allows the script to run separately from the standard scheduling system that I showed in the last video. Um, ugh, I mean, I don't know if asynchronous is really the right word, but it's at async. If that's in the first line, the script will run without um, interfering with any of the other scheduled scripts or any other asynchronous scripts. Um, obviously, special tab, it, you know, or it, not tab, it presses up and then it actually waits until the key that it's bound to is unpressed. That's another new one. So with the combination of async and wait unpressed, I can make it so that these, uh, this simulates just the up button and won't interfere with any of the other buttons. So if I bind every other button on the keyboard like that with just like different characters or special keys, it'll just act like a normal keyboard and the buttons won't get blocked. Um, I am going to cancel because I don't know what I typed there. Same thing, you got the down. Uh, all of these are the same, the light blue ones. Uh, I mean the left and the right. So I also added commenting. So you see that these scripts don't run as async because we only want one Turner strafe uh, macro running at the same time. And that's because if you have, for example, you're going this one, which is strafing, I'll show you that in a second. You know, or I am showing you that, aren't I? Um, strafing, it'll press alt, press left, wait, and release left, release alt. If you hold that, then that, and then release it in like a combination that's kind of weird, but because you're playing a game, it comes up fairly frequently. Um, it'll actually make it so that you keep turning forever. So uh, that's actually the only things that don't run asynchronously are the left keys, which are these, uh, and the right keys. Uh, so the left and right keys. Uh, these down here are, again, bound to the same sort of uh, rotation. This just rotates you. Um, and you can see that this is alt. So in case you do want to, for example, just use these uh, right here, and then you want to hold alt manually. If you, I don't know if you want to do that for some reason, you could. Um, I just I just put it on there because sometimes when I'm when I'm doing something, my hands will be in a weird place, and I just need to hit a button, but it's like unbound. So so it's in these are in like a good place for me to hit the rotating. To rotate, I can either hit any of these or these. Um, over here, I've got this one bound to just enter in the same way. So that's good for the menus. Uh, this is backspace, which is good for the menus. This is escape, which is good for going to the menu and exiting and stuff. Uh, this is just pressing Y and N for exiting. And you can see it's very dimly lit up. This is control, which of course fires your gun. Uh, and these two purple ones are space. Um, these are, you know, one through seven for your different, you know, weapons. This one over here, um, it'll actually open up a website where you can play Doom in your browser, but, uh, it, for me, the FPS was just really bad. Uh, this is again, just escape, which is good for exiting that website. But yeah, so that's, that's just uh, another example layout, um, showing off sort of the async and the wait till unpressed commands. Um, and also I, I played a few levels of Doom on the launch pad, and, and I think that it felt, it, it felt really fluid. Like, I felt like I had the Doom experience going there. Again, more so than the normal Doom experience, because I'm not used to having to hold down Alt in order to strafe. So, that's just me, but, uh, 
Yeah, so if you think it's fun playing Doom with a launch pad, go ahead and, and again, download my program if you have a Mark II. I'm, I'm looking for somebody to borrow a Pro or an Original so I can port the program over to those as well. But uh, for now, it's only the Mark II. If you have one of those, download it. You know, download a Doom emulator, get the WAD files or something, and uh, just have fun playing Doom. If you want to use a different uh, you know, game or something with your launch pad, this program is completely configurable. Um, I'm going to link to the GitHub page, and at this point, every single day, major features are added. Um, it might slow down to maybe every week or so pretty soon, but right now it's, it's really in development and there's a lot of good work happening on it. So follow the GitHub page. If you, if you like this, go ahead and leave a like just so I know that you liked it. Um, if a lot of people like these videos and stuff, I might work, you know, more on the project just so it gets completed faster because if no one cares about it, I'll just work on it for myself. But if people think it's a super cool idea, well then I've got, I've got people to, to satisfy, I guess. I don't know. I really like making things. Um, bye!